uh, in the previous video uh, tutorial, we added in the joist, uh, the decking on top of that, and uh, of course the uh, joist here, or rim joist, depending on what, what condition. In this case, this, this is the joist. And then the seal plate. Now we need to put in a series of beams because these joists, you know, right now we have them ex extending all the way from one side to the other, okay? And uh, I've hidden them. If I turn on hidden, there they are. And what we want is those joists to go from one side to the other, but there's no way that uh, two by six could span that far. So uh, probably about seven or eight feet would be the b best uh, distance. So we're gonna break that span up by adding in here uh, a series of beams in between. And you can see where I've already added that beam in right there. So there's that beam. It's What it is is a double two by sixes. It's two two by sixes. Uh, they'd be glued and nailed together. And then underneath that, in the other direction, uh, that beam can't also span that whole distance. So then what we're going to do is add a series of piers. And you can see those piers and their footings right there. Okay, and that's what those uh, little squares are and associated uh, little pier right there. You can kind of see it sticking through. Okay, um, so we're going to add this, uh, add those into the rest of the, uh, the, the design. So uh, we can start with columns if we wanted to. Uh, uh, we could start with... Uh, you know, uh, with the with the beam, uh, of course, we could start with the footing. The footing is usually the first thing that goes in, and we can just build up from there. Uh, but so let's just do that. We'll just do that from the footing up. Um, so I'm going to go into structure here, and uh, I'm going to use. In this view, I'm going to do an isolated, okay, and uh, we want the level to be top of footing uh, with no offset, and then I've already created a 20 by 20 by 4 inch uh, footing for you. Uh, I created it from the existing ones here by just going into uh, edit type and edit the uh, dimensions of the footing. Uh, to fit the need for this particular situation. Now I could just place these footings in by snapping to the intersection of the two of the grid lines, or I could do it a lot faster if I went into the grid lines here, okay, and then selected. What this allows me to do is select the grid lines, and I'm doing a cross selection. But I'm making sure that I don't catch other grid lines like this one or this one or this one because if I do, then it's going to put a pad in there and I don't want that. So I'm going to say finish. Okay. And now I've got the pad in uh, or the isolated footing in for all those. If I want to see that footing, for some reason it put it at the top of the stem wall. Okay. Well, uh, we can fix that. Uh, we're going to go, we wanted it at the top of the footing. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to say, since they all go to the top of footing, I'm going to say select all instances of this in the entire project. And then we're going to change the level to the top of the footing. Okay. Uh, and then apply it. And that'll move it all to the top of the footing. Okay. Why? I thought I selected top of footing. Maybe I. I selected top of stem wall. But anyway, that's how you fix that without having to redo it. The next thing I want to do is go back here to this stem wall. And remember, the reason you, I can see uh, all of this is because I've hidden the, uh, all of the joist and the decking uh, and that plywood decking. Okay, all that's been hidden. Okay, just remember that. You'll need to do that to be able to get access to this. And then... Uh, so let's add now the, the columns, the little piers, okay? Uh, they're basically columns, but when they're used in this situation, they're called a pier. Uh, so it's going to structure and in columns right there. So structure, 
columns. And then we're going to place these by height. Okay. And uh, they're going to be, uh, the, the top is going to be unconnected. And the reason is, is because there's no level where they go. They go to the bottom, right? They're going to go to the bottom of this beam. And so the bottom of that beam, fortunately, uh, I know I can measure that, okay? Or I could do the math. Um, but I'm just going to measure this right here. From here to there, it's two foot, one half inch, okay? So what we're going to do is come in here and... Uh, go back to column since I got out of it okay I need to pick a view uh, structure column and then I'm going to select the 4x4 four four column and then I'm going to set my uh, should be top of not stem wall top of footing okay and then this uh, is going to be vertical okay it's going to be height okay going to be determined by height not depth and then two foot one half inches in there okay um, so now let's use the same method we used before using the grids and we're going to then uh, cross select all those grid lines and we'll see a little appear and we're going to say finish And uh, there they are, okay? Now, uh, the next thing I want to do is put that beam that we did here. And of course, if I'd already drawn this, I could just copy it, okay? Uh, but I want you to install it uh, because you won't, have, you won't have this one in your uh, file to begin with. Okay, and so we got a beam here, and it's going to go from one end of the stem wall to the other stem wall. And what that's going to do, what we want it to do, is it's going to uh, go right up to the stem wall, and we're going to use a hanger. Okay, and I talked about hangers in our in my uh, lecture, and we're going to that hanger is going to attach itself. Uh, to the concrete and then this is going to slide down into it and that will be a, a better the other way we could do it is notch the concrete but when we poured the concrete we would have to you know form that notch and it it, it would be a lot of work <laughs> uh, a lot more work than than just uh, putting a hanger on there and, and it, the connection wouldn't be any better uh, the hanger if installed correctly is going to be just as good as notching it so with that said, now we're going to put uh, these uh, two by sixes there. And to do that, uh, we're going to go into structure and we're going to do beam, right? And, uh, and then we'll do a two by six. We don't want to do a plate. And then we want this to the reference level to be the stem wall, the top of the stem wall, okay? But it's got to go up to the bottom of this plate right here okay I mean this joist and so it has to go one and a half inches because we know it's that plate right there is one and a half inches in depth and so uh, we want to set it in by its top okay the top from the stem wall up is one and a half inches and so that we put that in used it before so we're going to place it by the top, and whether we place it right or left, we'll just have to see what works, okay? So we're going to run from the stem wall. So I'm going to go in here, and it's not allowing me to snap. Let's see if it will 3D snap. Okay. Well, I'll just draw one, and then I'll move it into place, okay? Because there's the plate right there. We can see the plate. Uh, and so this is the edge of the steel wall right here. So I'm, I'm just going to throw one in just to show you. Sometimes it's just easier to put it in. So I'm going to do it from here to here. Okay, and now I have that. And what I'm going to do is use these little markers right there. 
okay, to let's see if I can grab them. Ah, come on. Sometimes depending on your, okay. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to move it, okay. And what I did is hold that, hold this in down, and then use my middle finger to uh, click on the uh, wheel on my mouse, okay. And so I want it to go to right there, okay. And then. At the other end, I want to do the same thing. So I'm going to grab this. This time I can get it so I can see it. So I'm going to go. This is the edge of the steel wall. This is the uh, other. So I'm going to click on here and move it. Well, let's try that again. Okay. The edge of the steel wall right there there okay and so now it's from one edge of the steel wall to the other uh, it's on this side I want another one on the other side of that line because it's a double plate remember uh, we're using two two pieces it's a double uh, joist uh, making it into a beam so I'm going to select that and I'll just use the copy command and I'll copy this from here to there no problem. And so now, whoops. I'll just delete that. Didn't need that one. So now I've got my secondary beam in there. Okay. Uh, the section is not going through that. Uh, I could extend that section right there to see whether or not uh, it's in the right location. And that's wall section five. Okay. Uh, well, for some reason, those columns did the same thing as the other columns. Okay. So once again, I'm going to select them. I know I set the footing that time. Um, so anyway, I'm going to select them. Select all instances, the entire project. And since they, I know uh, the instances of all of those are, gonna, are supposed to be in the same location. Uh, so their base level is supposed to be top of footing, apply, and now they are, wait, uh, select all instances, entire project, and, uh, the base level, uh, oh, top level, oh, top level is the footing two, and it would be two and a half inches apply, and so now we now we have our, our columns in here, and you'll notice it's sitting underneath the beam right there. Okay, we don't have a beam here yet, but we will here in just a second. And so now I'm going to uh, put another beam in. So I'll go back to the top of the stem wall. And since I already have this made, uh, I'm just going to select and hold down the control key. Get both of those and just copy them from that grid line to that grid line and now I have my secondary beam in there and if I look at my wall section right here you'll see now okay so we got this beam this double uh, two by sixes it's working as a beam being held up by a pier which is then held up by and so that completes our uh, our foundation and our floor structure for the uh, design uh, for the framing. Now we're going to do the walls and the roof in the next videos.